Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy T Baggins, and I got a little duplication video for you in the new Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So first of all, it's not that tough. All you really have to do is have PlayStation Plus and either a friend or a second controller with another character. So first thing you want to do is go back to your main menu, go over to settings, down to save data and game app settings, go to save data PS5, over to console storage. You want to click on that. Wait till it loads up. Uh, go in there. Click on Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And upload your save to the cloud. So you'll get a little notification saying. Oh yeah. You want to overwrite the save data? Yes. Yep. Okay. Wait for that to upload. So you're just making a backup of your save right now with all the money or guns and everything that you have on your account and that you want to keep. So you go back to your menu, open the game back up, wait for it to load. Once the game finally starts loading up, you're going to need either a friend or a second controller to load in on your account. So yeah, you'll go back in, go into your game. See, I have $1,300,000,000 right now. So you just want to get your friend to join you. You'll transfer him all the money and you'll transfer him any weapons that you want. And then once you finish doing that, you're going to go back to your menu again. Force close the game this time. Don't save and quit. Then you want to go up to settings again, back down to save and data. But in this time, instead of going to console storage, you want to go to cloud storage. So you're essentially copying back the save that you just made from the cloud back to your console. So after you got rid of everything, if you copy the save back, it'll be a restore state. So you're restoring everything you had, all your money, your guns, everything like that. So you want to restore it. It said yes. Back out. Go back to your main menu again reopen the game and as you load in you should notice that you'll have everything that you just had in the game and your friend will also have it so here's an example of me doing this with a couple people we were just duplicating money and i was giving my friend a couple guns that he couldn't get at level 40. if you want to double the money to make it faster go into your friend's game and have him transfer you all of his money first and then he will force close and not save and do the exact same thing back and forth and you'll have more than enough money or weapons in no time because he's joining in on my game so i went into my solo or single player game there he is right there he loads in i go to trade uh, if he ever loads yep go to trade have him accept the trade you go down, see I have $1.7 billion on my account, and I chose a couple guns that I wanted to duplicate with him. So you'll put in the exact same amount of money that you have on you, and you'll give it to your friend. There you go, go to trade, and he's also getting the weapons at the same time. It's a double whammy. There, trade accepted. Now he's going to save and quit and leave the game, so that way everything I just gave him, is he's going to keep it, right? So he's excited, jumping around, like, yeah, I just got a billion dollars for free. And a couple weapons I missed. See, he saves and quits. Now, I want to force close my game. So that way it doesn't save with me having no money and guns. Go back to my settings. Go to save data. Go to the cloud this time, because you're going to want to copy back your restore point. Your save that has all your money and it has all your weapons still on it. So you go to your save point, you download it, it'll say overwrite, yes, copy it back. Once you go back in the game, if you load back in, you should notice that you still have all your money and weapons and everything you just gave away. I actually did this with a few people, and we basically just did it to um, max out our banks. We didn't do it to break the game or anything, we just wanted more storage, and it's a lot to, I know it's really a lot to get your bank's fully maxed out. It's something like $300 million or something. And to grind that in-game is going to take forever. 
yeah, this is your best bet if you want to get the trophies or achievements in the game for uh, maxing out your storage. So you see, I'll load back into Bright Oof. Check my inventory. I have 1 billion 700 million again. Yay! See, it actually works. Yep, have all my weapons still, so everything's good to go. It works. It's the exact same thing on uh, Xbox. You just, uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to have Game Pass or wherever you can upload your storage to the cloud. You can also do it with the USB drive if if it allows you to do it with the USB drive. So if you want to do this backup on PC, it's going to be underneath your C drive, users, your username, app data, roaming, go to Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and there'll be a folder with a 17-digit number. You just want to copy your save out of there to a different folder. Do whatever you need to... Uh, duplicate like money or guns or whatever and then when you're finished copy the save back to that folder the restore point so you'll have everything back in that you originally had in the first place but yeah it's uh not too hard it's pretty simple uh i'd recommend doing this before they patch it or anything like that if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content because i'll be posting lots of gameplay on uh tiny tina's i have Full gameplay on my channel, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Catch y'all later. Peace.